Hey everybody, welcome back to another class on Verbling.com with Teacher Abby. It's Saturday, that means that the weekend is here. I'm in a great mood. Mateo, why are you laughing? I'm laughing always because I'm a happy person. You're a happy person. Yeah. <laughs> is that because you're Italian? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I I'm I'm um, Italian, different Italian. Okay, a different special one, Italian. a very special, special one. one. He's our special Italian. <laughs> <laughs> different, different. Good to see you back, Matteo. We're happy to have you, Mustafa. Welcome back. Welcome back, teacher. Thank you very much. Good to be here. You know, I love being here with you guys. We love you too. It's and my your smile place. your your smile is separate to us also. <laughs> That's good. Mm, Victor? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Victor? Hi, Miss Abby. How are you? Mm, I'm wonderful. How about I'm, you? <laughs> I'm I'm doing pretty good. Can you tell I'm in a good mood today? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I've had better days, that's true, but I'm in a pretty good mood. <laughs> my day is uh, finishing. <laughs> it's finishing, yeah. My day is just beginning. I still have the I, whole day ahead of me. I know. Jose, welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank you, Abby. Teacher Abby. Nice to have you. And Henry. Hello, Abby. How are you? Nice I'm to well. meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Henry. Tell me about yourself. Excuse me? Tell me about yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Okay, very nice. And is this your first time with me in the class? Yes, uh, the first class uh, with you. Wonderful. Welcome to my class. I'm very happy to meet you. Happy to have you with me today. Thank you, Bobby. Kawan? Karwan? Hi. Hey, Karwan, tell me about yourself. Who are you? I'm Karwan from Iraq. I live in Kurdistan. If you heard about Kurdistan. From where? Kurdistan. Kurdistan. Yeah. Kurdistan. It's north of Iraq. It's a safe place. It's a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that you are safe. Kurdistan, can you please type it into the chat box for me so I can see the name of your country? A region, not a country. Okay. It's a region. Okay. Let's we're not gonna fight about it though, right? Kidaboon. <laughs> Kidaboon, are you there? Yes. What is, is that really your name, Kidaboon? Yes, I'm from what a, Thailand. What a cool name. Thailand. Uh, my, you can call me Ho. Okay, I can call you what? Ho? Ho. Ho. Yes. Okay, thank you for coming. It's Thanks for joining us today. And Rodolfo, welcome back to class. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Thank you for coming. Thank and you, Fidel. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Wonderful. I'm happy to have you back. Thank you. It's glad to see you again. You're from Guatemala, no? Yes, I'm from Guatemala. Okay, yes, I remember. Thank you for joining us. Uh, okay, you have to visit Guatemala sometime. Guatemala, maybe, yeah. It's close I, um, to United States. I like Latin America. I like Central and Latin America. It's a very, very warm cultural place. Okay, teacher, it's very hard to. Um, Come to your class. Why? Most of the time, most of the time, 
uh, there is no space. I mean, uh, a lot of students wants to stay in in your hand. You are the paper teacher of the students. Thank you. <laughs> If you come and it's full, sometimes if you wait, there'll be an opening after the first few minutes of class because not everybody uses their tickets all the time, okay? That's a little secret for you. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Good. I think that's everybody. So welcome, everyone. For those of you who do not know me, who are new to my class, my name is Abby, and I'm from Vancouver, Canada, originally. I've done a little bit of traveling. And now I'm back in Canada visiting for a period of time. So welcome to my class. It is a pleasure to have you. If there's any questions, go ahead. If not, Teacher. I'll ex yeah. What's the what's the meaning of Abby? Abby? Yeah. Oh, somebody you know, Ali knows. <laughs> <laughs> but I forget. He told me okay. one time. An okay. Abby, an Abby is spelt differently. It's like this. An abbey is like a church or like a house of worship. Oh, okay. Okay. Exactly. So I don't know if that's what my name is related to, whether it's house of God or house of worship or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I just know that when my mother chose my name, she didn't care about the meaning. She just liked the name. Thank you for sharing. You're probably, welcome. probably uh, before uh, uh, drink uh, a lot of uh, beer. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> that's that's really insulting. She chose my name after she was drunk. <laughs> I I'm don't know if I like that one. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> it's not. I'm not crazy about my name, but it's my name. What can I do? No, no. It's it's a beautiful. Well, because it's, a beautiful it's name. easy. It's easy for uh, pronunciation. Very good. I will Google. forgive you by the end of class. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, okay. the Google says that uh, the name Abby is a Hebrew baby name. A Hebrew baby name. Yes, in Hebrew, the meaning of the name Abby is father rejoiced or father's joy. A father of joy. No, father, father rejoiced or father's joy. Oh, so my parents were happy. They rejoiced when they had me. Yes. The intelligent, beautiful Abigail was Old Testament King David's wife. third wife, exactly. described as good in discretion and beautiful in form. Fidel, that's very nice. You have totally redeemed it. I think I like my name again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Abigail in the Bible had a terrible husband named Nahum, and she tricked, or no, she saved David's life from Nahum killing him by offering David food. I know the story. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we're going to read a few dialogues today. We're going to talk about a beautiful day. Practice a little bit of the past tense, along with some pronunciation on the ed endings when we say t, when we say ed, when we say etc. Then we're going to talk about a sleepover and do a little bit more practice with the past tense, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with our first dialogue. And I would like Hope and Henry to read it for us, okay? So just a second, I'm going to share it for us. Hope, you're going to be Douglas. Henry, you're going to be Lily. Okay. Please read the dialogue. Douglas. Hope, you are Douglas. Kidaboon. I Lily, yes. You said call you Hope. I called you Hope and you didn't respond. <laughs> Are you there? Uh, Something's wrong with Kidaboon's audio, so I'm going to get Carwin to read for him, okay? Can you be Douglas Carwin? Okay. Hi, Lily. What did you what did you and John do yesterday? 
uh, we went to the sport park yesterday. We wrote our visitors and played badminton. That that sounds like fun. Yes, it was a lot of fun. What did you what did you do yesterday? My my family uh, and I went to the beach and uh, I had a bar BQ. Did you play any games? Uh, yes, we played volleyball and dode dode game ball. What happened to you too? I hurt my toy at the beach. Uh, I ste I stepped on the piece of glass and I cut my toy. Okay, very good. Let's practice our pronunciation a little bit. First of all, dodgeball. 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 And toe. 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 Well, what's the meaning of toe? What's the meaning of what? Toe. It's these, but on your feet. Uh huh. Okay. These on your feet. Those are your toes. Fingers oh. and toes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Any other questions on the vocabulary? What kind of uh, game is dodgeball? Dodgeball. Okay, this is. I'm gonna take a. Explain it to you. I think. Oh, I don't know if I know what dodgeball is. I think it's, it's when you dodge the ball when it's being thrown at you, and if it the ball hits you. Mm. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now I know what it is. So basically, dodgeball is when two teams stand on opposite ends of a room. Okay, so you have a room, you have one team here and one team here. And they throw balls at the other team, trying to hit them with the balls. And if you get hit with a ball, then you're out. You try to get as many people out of the, the game as possible. Mm. It comes from the, the verb to dodge, Jose, is when you go like that. Oh, Something yeah. comes at you and you dodge it, it means you move to the side so it doesn't hit you. That's why it's called dodgeball. I think that in Mexico it's hot ball or something like that. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Somebody has a bird or something. If you have noise in your background, can you please mute your microphones? Carwan? Sorry, sorry. I will do now. Thank you very much. Any other questions on the vocabulary? Okay, very good. Let's let's um talk about it. Where do you play sports? Let's start with Victor. Where do you play sports, Victor? Uh, I I usually play sports on a stadium. In a stadium. In a stadium. Okay. Yeah. On a stadium would be on the roof of the stadium. Okay. In would be inside the 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 boundaries of it. Okay, you got it. In Good a stadium. I play sports in a stadium. What about you, Rodolfo? Where do you like to play sports? I like. I used to. I still still practice uh, swimming. Mhm. Mm Since I was uh, a child, and play soccer, football, soccer. Swimming. Where do you swim? Uh, in a, a private uh, pool in, in my city. Nicely done. Let's go to Mustafa. Where do you play sports? Teacher, to be honest with you, I don't play sports right now on, on this time, but I had been playing sports when I, am, when I was a child, and it was in the streets. Mm. I played sports when I was a child. Yeah. Very and good. It was in the streets. Beautiful. Good answer. Fidel, what do you eat at a barbecue? Oh. Mm. Uh, many things. 
Maybe um, fruit. Fruit. And uh, yes. <laughs> that's quite. That's quite a barbecue food. <laughs> okay, and it's not not correct. It could um, be absolutely. It could be. Um, the things is that I don't uh, know the how. I don't know. I don't know how to say the the words that I am having my man in English. <laughs> say them in Spanish, and then we'll figure it out. Oh, galletas. 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 Okay, crackers. Ah, oh, crackers. Crackers. Um. Mm. Um, drinks, many drinks. Drinks, absolutely. Good job. Henry, what else do you have at a barbecue? What else do you eat at a barbecue? Um, I like uh, a meat, a potatoes, um, and cough. Meat, potatoes, and what was the last one? I write in chat. Okay. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Cough. Cough. Cob. Okay, corn. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. What do people like to do at the beach, Mateo? Okay, what do people... Ali, ah. what is going on here? <laughs> uh -huh. um, Tell me, Mateo. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, the people uh, at the beach are uh, um, doing um, uh, swim in the sea, play on the beach, and uh, uh, eat a barbecue. <laughs> mm. See, play on the beach. Uh, okay, under uh, under sun for uh, uh, the the skin. Ten, uh, they tan. Tan skin. They tan. They tan. Ah, okay. Good job. Excellent. Thank you, Mateo. Rodolfo, what about you? Anything else you can think of that people do at the beach? Or anybody else who has an idea? Mm, Practice maybe. surf. Rodolfo? Yes, maybe take take this soon and... War? War and... War and yes. And... Mm, but but with, with sunshine. Uh, I, Put sunshine in, in in her in her body and, and take yeah. the sun. In. So that means tan. You can tan at the beach. Tan. Or I like to go. T say that. Okay. Mm, okay. Good job, Rodolfo. Thank you very much. Anybody else have a, a comment about any of those four questions? Any comments on these four questions? The people can practice surf at the beach? They can go surfing at the beach. Not practice surf, they can sing. Okay. They uh, repeat. We do not say practice surf. We say they can surf at the beach or they can go surfing at the beach. Okay, okay. thank you. Excellent job. Good idea. So we're Teacher. going to... Yeah? Barbecue is a type of sauce. Is it sauce? Sauce. Sauce. Is a, a type in, in United States or Canada a type of sauce? A barbecue sauce is a type. It's like um, it's kind of like chipotle, but it's sweeter, sweeter. Okay, but not necessarily in a barbecue. You use this 
the sauce, right? Exactly. Or? The idea is that it gives you the flavor of the fire of a barbecue. That's why it's called barbecue sauce, but it does not necessarily mean a barbecue is involved. Mm. You can cook only maybe a hamburger and you have a barbecue. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody chicken. else? Chicken on barbecue is good. You like barbecue chicken? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything tastes better on the barbecue. No, but I like the chicken uh, uh, on the barbecue grill. Mm -hmm. Sounds yum. good. <laughs> yum, yum. Yum. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're all going to create a sentence. I hurt my what when I stepped on a what? Okay, let's start with Victor. Can you please? I hurt my forehead when I stepped on a rake. <laughs> good job. <laughs> that is a really good one. I hurt my forehead when I step. Um, that is, have you ever done that, Victor? Yes, I tried. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've done it too. It's terrible, terribly painful. Yeah. When, I was, when I was a child, I decided to check out our sink. <laughs> and it was true, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the left. Rodolfo, complete the sentence. I hurt my knee when I step on a banana peel. Um, excuse me? The peel, banana peel. Yeah, yes, yes. Good answer. Very good answer. Ali, are you there? He's using up all his data on his phone to be able to come to this class. <laughs> Maybe he's oh. still on the party. Um, Mustafa, go ahead. Maybe he's he's now on, on the party and he's uh, as you said he's uh, using the data. Exactly. On the phone. So he'll use up all of his data just to be able to say that he came to the classes today. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa, please complete the sentence. Um. I hurt my toe when I stepped on a pen. Very good. That would hurt. Ouch. Yeah. Mateo. Mateo. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you you called me. Okay, I hurt my uh, bicycle. Okay, when I stepped uh, on uh, um, a, a going. A what? When you stepped on a what? I had my bicycle, bicycle, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I stepped uh, for, um, for across at the street. Okay, to step on something is to put your foot on something else. Mm. Okay, so you have to use your foot to, to step on it. Okay. I'll let you think about it, okay? Car, car one, a sentence? Really, I don't know. No? I, I don't have any sentence, no. Okay, does anyone else have a sentence? He Fidel? Can, 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 he okay. can. Get. Okay, let, let, let me try. I, I hurt my leg when I stepped on a landmine. Uh, yeah, that would hurt. That would definitely hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, landmine is a, war, a word that I uh, learned in the one hour ago in the past... Uh, class here in Berlin. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you're learning new words. That's fantastic. Okay, good job. I hurt my leg when I stepped on a landmine. And Mustafa, you had a question? Yeah, just the same sentence in the chat. I hurt. Can, can I say I hurt uh, uh, my heart when I stepped on a woman like or on a girl? This is a correct sentence? Um, when you stepped on a, I don't understand it. What do you step on? Okay. Uh, again, I like. 
like a girl maybe when I stepped on a girl. Can we say so that or if you no. physically step on a woman and it hurts her, it hurts your heart? It's the same of walking to her or step me mean uh, walking on her. Yes, are you talking symbolically or literally? S uh, symbolically. Okay, yeah, I guess you could. I hurt it hurt my heart. I hurt my heart when I stepped on a woman. Um you would never say it in English, I'll just be honest with you, but I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So okay. we cannot say that. Not really, not really, no. It's I understand where you guys are coming from, but it's not exactly correct. Okay. All right. We're going to continue on. We're going to start learning about the past tense. Um, can you? Can I get you to read this for us, um, Henry? Can you please read the highlighted part? We use the past tense to talk about things that happened before now. Many verbs add ed to make uh, the past tense. There are called the regular verbs. I played tennis yesterday. I finished my homework last night. Excellent. Very good. Any questions about when we use the past tense? Things that happened before now. Okay. Let's go down. We have three different, or sorry, Yes, three different pronunciations of the ed endings, t, d, or ed. So we have asked, looked, finished. Then we've got turned, changed, cleaned, tried. And then we have words like needed, counted, ended. Any questions on that? Teacher, is that related to the sound only or there is the rule or something like it? It's yeah. just related to the sound of the verb, how we pronounce it. So when we do practices like this, you get used to how we how we say it. Okay. Okay. When there's a long vowel sound, it can be d or ed. And when it's a short vowel sound, many times it is a t sound. Okay? Like talked, finished. Okay? But it's not always okay. the same because we have words like look. So it's kind of an inconsistency that we have there. Okay, very good. So we're not going to do this, but I'm, we're not going to write. We're just going to speak. We're just going to speak. I'll show you guys the full thing. I want you to start by just reading the verb in the past tense, how it would be. So let's start with Henry, the first one. Mm. I watch it television in in the night yesterday. Okay, watched. Watched. Excellent. Very good. I watched TV last night. I watched TV last night. Repeat. I watched TV last night. Beautiful. Let's go over to Jose with count. Count. Mm -hmm. I count my, I don't know, I count my money yesterday. Again, in the past tense, I count. I is, is finished, uh, the pronunciation is ed, right? I yeah. counted. There you go. I counted my money last night. Good job. Perfect sentence. Um, Carwan. Yes. Turn. 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 Yesterday I turned off my laptop. Can I see that? Yesterday I? Turned. Perfect. Nicely done. Yesterday I turned off? My laptop. My laptop. Good job, Karwan. Fantastic. Any questions about that? Turned on, turned off? Okay, let's go over to Mateo. Need. Need. Okay. 
and um, I needed nothing. I needed nothing. Good sentence. Very good. Mustafa, dance. Uh, I dance. What I can say? I I don't like no. What I can say? How do you say dance in the past tense? Just in the past tense, or I have to put a put here uh, put it in the t sentence. Um, say it in the past tense first, because that's the exercise. Uh, dance, danced, dance. Perfect, danced. Yeah. And how can you say it? Give me a sentence using danced. Actually, I I try to remember something. Uh, I I don't know, teacher. Actually, because I don't dance anymore. So. Oh, I, it doesn't I, have to be a true I, sentence. You can say, the man danced all. Uh, can, can we say they have been danced all the night? Nope. We can say they have been dancing because that's the um, the present yeah, perfect yeah. tense. But the simple past they, was they danced they all have. night. They danced, yes, all okay. night. Okay. So this is the sentence here. Next, we'll have Rodolfo and we'll have you do change. Mm, I changed my old laptop. The last week? I changed my old laptop last week. Excellent sentence. Perfect. And Victor want? Ali wanted to join our class. <laughs> but he couldn't. He, he couldn't. I don't know why. Because <laughs> he's on his cell phone. That's why. <laughs> uh, maybe. Good job, he's, you guys. He's driving, I think. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yes. Can we can can we say about my sentence? Can we say uh, they have danced? But uh, or this is uh, or or when I say this, uh, that means they have uh, they still dancing until now. They, they have, have danced. danced is yeah. um, we we won't we it's the present. Perfect, perfect, but you wouldn't use it in that situation. They have danced. Um, we wouldn't say that. No, you would say they danced all night. If you say okay. they have danced all night, it means that maybe still you're at the party and it's just finished recently. To okay, a point, teacher, that's to what a, I mean. Yeah. It's just to a point in the recent past. But if it's the next day or hours later, you could say, oh, we danced all night. I, and they had... Or can we say they had danced? They had danced, yep, yeah, the past perfect. Yes, you can, it's correct. They had danced all night. Okay. Uh, they had been? They had been dancing all night. Oh, yes, yes, that's uh, not uh, a past, in the past, yes. Near a beautiful girl. Woo! <laughs> Settle down, Mateo. No, for Mustafa, for Mustafa. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't need any more secret girls, that's for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and continue. Mateo, you are going to be Lily. Okay. And um, Victor, you're going to be Jane. Victor, how are we going to read the dialogue? With love. With lots of love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Victor, are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Do you want to sleep at my house tonight, Jane? That's a good idea, Lily. I'll ask my parents, but I think they will say it's okay. Good. Do you want to play a video game or do you want to watch a movie? I want to play video games. My mother bought me a new video game last night. I'll bring it to your house. Cool. Can you bring your new camera too? We can look out my window and take picture. I'm sorry, Lily. I can't bring my camera. My uncle <coughs> went to Europe last week and uh, he brought my camera with him. 
Okay, very good. What is a sleepover? What? I oh, capital lock. Sorry. What? Stand by. What is a sleepover? Who can explain? Stand by. When I put a stand by video camera. No? No, no, that's not it. Uh, you you missed the appointment, let's say, and you sleep. That's sleeping in. Sleep in. Teacher, maybe when you are uh, wake up too late and you sleep a lot, a lot, and you still maybe you wake up at uh, 12 p.m. No, that's a, that's to sleep in, a sleep in, or a lion. Maybe it's, about it's clouds, right? Jose, what? It's about clouds. Is is the name that you use in the night? Clouds. I don't know with the specific name. Pajamas, maybe. No, it's not that either. Maybe it's just live with with a friend. Yay! Uh, Rodolfo, uh, explain. Explain with us, um, Rodolfo. Uh, it's sleep with a friend in in your house, in not my house, but in in the house of my friends. Exactly. A sleepover is when you sleep at the house of your friend, or your friend sleeps at your house. That is a sleepover. Ah, uh, for example, uh, with friends, uh, um, I calling my mom. Uh, Hi, mom. Uh, today I sleep over. Uh, uh, at home, uh, Jason. Exactly, exactly. Ah, okay. Or you could say, hey, I want to come and visit. Can I sleep over? Sleep over the night is the idea. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> sleep over the night. So it's when you simply, you don't sleep at home. You sleep at the house of another person. That's a sleepover. Just one night, one night. In adults, it's common, teacher? No, right? In only in, in adults, persons? Only in kids? Um, yeah. You should, well, you can just use it to refer to, for example, if you go and visit your family and you want to spend the night, you would say, I'm going to sleep over. But a sleepover, yes, is usually for children. But it could be in many very adult situations as well. For example... Um, like if you had your girlfriend come and sleep at your house, that would be a sleepover. Okay, because mm -hmm. okay. she yes, doesn't yes. she doesn't live with you. She's just coming for a for one night. Or like Mateo said, maybe you go and visit your parents who live in a different city, but you want to sleep at their house. That's also a sleepover. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you're right. Many, many times, like when I was a kid, me and my friend Mandy and Lisa, we would all of us girls love to have a sleepover, which is like a party that goes for kids, nothing crazy, just when kids maybe they sleep at one friend's house. And what do you do? Play games and tell stories? Something yeah, like that? play right? games, tell stories, you know, pillow fights. <laughs> pillow. <laughs> maybe talk about your fierce kiss, something like that. I see this situation exactly. in movies, it's right, right? That's exactly it. Talk about boys. Mm -hmm. Sneak out of the house at night. <laughs> the women talking about boys and boys talking about women. <laughs> exactly. Um, for some cultures, a sleepover is a very strange thing. For some cultures, it is not considered appropriate or normal. And... Um, that's becoming the idea in Canada. Not Some parents are not very fond of the idea of having a sleepover anymore. It's not as common as it used to be. For, uh, sorry, sorry, teacher. For both men and women or for general? This is for, for men. men. This is for men and women. Like, for example, I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of me and my little cousin. Those, they're little blonde boys. They're my cousins. They love to come and have a sleepover, where they come and they sleep here, and that's totally normal. 
However, it's not common that friends have sleepovers as much as it used to be, unfortunately, because sometimes bad things can happen and there's trouble after. So parents prefer to have their children at home at night, which I, mean, I agree with, I understand. Questions? I know. Okay. Any questions on the dialogue, on the vocabulary here? Okay. There's some irregular past tense verbs here. Bought is the past tense of what? Henry. Excuse me? What is the, the present tense of bought? Buy. Very good. Yeah. Tell me about something that you bought recently. Example? Yeah, something that you bought. In past tense. Yep. Uh, I bought uh, the car uh, uh, yesterday. I bought a car yesterday. Perfect sentence. Anybody else want to give me an example? I have bought uh, iPad. Not I have bought. I? Simple past. Uh, I bought. 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 I yeah. bought an iPad. Yeah. Okay, we don't need to use the, pr the, the present perfect for that kind of example, it, okay? Okay. Teacher, okay, uh, I bought uh, an iPad, so this is mean yesterday or or uh, three weeks ago or or uh, so far, so far. Exactly. It doesn't matter when. It's just a completed action in the past. Okay. Beautiful. So these are examples. We also have brought. Victor, what's the present tense of the verb brought? <clears throat> Bring. Exactly. Can you use brought in a sentence for me? Use brought in a sentence. Uh, my daughter brought a new toy from outside. Perfect. My Did daughter you? brought a new toy home. Good? Yes, Jose? Can I ask him you in Spanish something? Yeah. Uh, Llevar y traer is the same in English brought, right? No. Llevar is to carry. Because yesterday, uh, my boss is from Canada, right? And okay. she she told me that brought is this. You, do you use the same word for llevar y traer? I'm, but I'm not sure. No. It's to carry and to bring. Llevar mm -hmm. is to carry. Traer is to bring. Because he told me that carry is only if you, for example, you are carry your... your your backpack or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but he told me, oh, okay, I'm going to say this. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. The difference might be, Jose, that in Spanish you use the verbs differently, right? So that's a different story. Maybe you use the verb um, llevar when we would say bring. So that's a different story, but they are very different verbs in English and they mean different things. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, use the past tense verbs to talk about what you did today and yesterday. Okay, so something, I want you guys to choose any of these past tense verbs that are irregular and talk about something that you did today or yesterday. So we'll start with Mateo. Use one of these verbs to talk about yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I choose uh, one this verb and one of I verbs in red and you make a sentence about what you did today or yesterday. Ah, okay. Um, okay, see and uh, I yesterday I so um A beautiful car. Good job. Excellent, perfect sentence. Woo! Mateo. 
Congratulations. That was perfect. Yesterday I saw a beautiful car. A beautiful. Mustafa, you thought he was going to say woman, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> so did I. So I left. <laughs> but why why you you say the woman? <laughs> when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's yesterday your turn, I teacher, teacher yesterday I saw a funny video of Matthew. Did you? I, ah, yes. I yeah, put uh, right. every day one funny video. Oh, you're <laughs> funny. You open guy. a channel. <laughs> funny guy. Good sentence, Rodolfo. Okay, mm, yesterday I went to my work. And afterward, I ate a uh, pizza in in my house. Excellent, good job, Rodolfo. You did two, a double. Okay. Victor. Yes. Yesterday, Mateo gave us a funny link. He did. Good yeah. job. Perfect sentence, Henry. Yesterday I was in the park. Okay, we need to say the past tense. That is the past tense, but use... Oh, yeah, yeah, you did, you did, sorry, I'm sorry. Yesterday I was in the park is perfect. Jose? Yesterday's, yesterday I were at uh, karaoke, right? Yes, yesterday I was at karaoke, or we would probably say I went to karaoke. Ah, okay. Very good. Excellent why, job. Why say that was is where, teacher? I don't understand. Um, was is in, in black and where in red? Basically what it's saying, it's well, it's in both. It's in both here because it's talking about were. It's trying to say if your subject is we or they, you, would have, you couldn't say was. You'd have to say were. Ah, okay. So it is a little bit kind of a misconception there. But the idea is if your subject is we or they, we say were. Mm -hmm. Okay, it should say here are. It should say are here. A bit of a yes. mistake. Yes, yes. Good. <coughs> Any questions before we do our last exercise on the past tense? Teacher, I didn't understand what the, the last question mean. The, the verb. I didn't understand the verb. Sorry? The sentence, the last sentence. That uh, he was in karaoke. I, I fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday I went to karaoke, said Jose. Karaoke. What's karaoke? Jose, can you explain? It's a place when you can sing, song or sing, teacher. Sing, right? Sing, when yeah. you can sing a, a song and in in a one screen you can see the letter uh, about the this song and you sing the by by yourself in Mexico if you want you get out a bottle of tequila for example no I don't know if it's fair. yes it's really it's yeah, really thank you, thank you for okay. we could have a karaoke at the end of our lesson today if you like. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do you think if you go, if you are in uh, Mexican karaoke, you can win a tequila, a bottle of tequila, teacher? I think I might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> you are in my team, huh? <laughs> sure, that sounds good. Okay, let's do a quick grammar exercise. We're going to see if we can identify the past tense verb in the sentences. So you guys are going to read the sentence and then tell me which of the verbs are put into the past tense, okay? Go, see, and eat are called irregular verbs because you don't add ed to make them the past tense. I'm sure that everybody in the class understands this already. So let's get into it and we will have Henry start us off. Read number one and then tell me which verbs are in the past tense. This is a quick exercise. I, I read. I want to, uh, to play baseball, uh, but I was sick. 
Which verbs are in the past tense? Uh, want. Wanted. Wanted. And? And was. Nice. Sit down. Jose, number two. Sarah watched a movie yesterday with her sister. Watched. 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 Only this, right? Very good. Absolutely. Number three, Mateo. My mother went to China and ate strange food. Went and ate. Nicely done, Mateo. Mustafa, number four. I did my homework last night. Uh, did. Okay. I only did. I do my homework. So, yeah. Very good. Nicely done. Rodolfo, number six. Oh, sorry, number five. Mr. Davis took his son to school. Took. Took. Very good. Sorry, I had to have some water. Number six, Victor. My parents were young, but now they are old. Were. Now they are? Old. Oh, very good. So what were the past tense verbs? Were. Very good. Good job. Number seven, Henry. She turned on the lights and closed the door. Turned. Excuse me? Turned. Uh, turned and closed. Okay. Turned. Turned. No. Turned. Turned. And closed. And closed. There you go. Much better. Good job. Thank you, Henry. Numbers eight. Jose? Uh, I danced with my friends and had a lot of fun. Uh, danced and had, right? Okay. Danced. Danced. T, right? There you danced. go. Danced. Danced. Okay. Number nine, Mateo? Jack cleaned his room and then he played outside. Clean, play. Excellent pronunciation. There's something wrong with your microphone, Mateo. It went a little bit weird. W weird? Yeah, there's a lot of noise in your microphone. I have the problem with my microphone. Yeah, it's, n it's uh, making a sound. Making a sound. Mustafa, number ten. My mother uh, so gave. Okay. Very good. My mother gave me twenty dollars. Perfect. Yeah. Nicely done, you guys. Any questions about the sentences? Any requests? Any ideas? Sentences, etc. Um, I have a, a question, but. Yes. Is related with the, the topic. Okay. Uh, when I, I talk about uh, the past, about the past, uh, the past, the simple past is only the, for the main ideas. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the simple past is only for the main ideas in the past. Um, it's for any action completed in the past. That is uh, not is no longer relevant. It's in the past. Uh, only, only the past. Yes. And, and ing is. Ing could be in the past. It depends on the verb that comes before the gerund. If the verb before the gerund is in the past tense, then you know you're talking about something that went. For example, I was running, but running in itself is n is not. It's just the, a continuous tense. It means that it's happened for a period of time, either in the past, the present, or the future. Mm, uh, okay. So you have to see the verb that is attached to it to understand if it's a continuous action in the past or not. Okay, okay. Okay. Good question. Any other questions? Peter, uh, I see uh, your schedule is, uh, ha uh, has a lot of change. Have a no? lot of change, I, as I think. When? Do you have a class on uh, uh, on Monday? Yeah, lots of classes. I think I have four classes on Monday, four public classes. 
So there is there uh, there is no change. There's no what? Change? No. Change. I don't know. I think you have a class on 1 a.m. and maybe 2 a.m. one day. Um, 1 a.m. You know I why? I think probably because I have not put in my class descriptions. Yeah, maybe that's. So the, yeah. I'm going to be in trouble. Verbling will be not happy with me. No, teacher, we need you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be teaching on Monday. I promise. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. That was really fun. It was nice to